Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are going to be understanding fractions. Let's do this. One of the most common things I hear when talking about fractions is this. I hate fractions. I don't understand fractions. I don't like fractions. Why are we using fractions? So today we're going to look at what a fraction is and then why we use fractions. And hopefully by understanding what they are and why we use them, we'll be able to um, appreciate them or at least get some understanding and hopefully be able to move forward with using them. Um, and having said that, I just went ahead and made these text boxes into a fraction. Ha 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 ha. Let's look at fractions. Our first fraction, first of all, I want to define what uh, the parts of a fraction are. Um, first off, the number in the top is called the numerator, also known as the part. And the denominator is the number in the bottom, which is also, it's sometimes called the whole. So it's a part out of a whole. And then that line right there that divides them is called a fraction bar. What a fraction looks like, if we take this fraction of one half, it means one out of two, or one part out of a total of two. In a visual way, it would look like this. One shaded section out of two sections. So one of them is that kind of um, orange-yellow color. Um, that is one out of the two. So if I gave you this picture over here, how would we write that as a fraction? Did you write one out of three? There's one out of three that are that, again, orange color. If you were looking at the white, then it would be two out of three of them are white, but we're just looking at the shaded region, so we'll say one out of three. Let's do a little bit of practice with this, just to get the idea of what a fraction is. So look at this bar here of five squares. How would you write that as a fraction? That'd be two out of five, right? Two of them are shaded out of five. How about this section of squares here? That's five out of six. Very good. And this one here is one out of four. These are examples of fractions. And you can see them visually. It's part out of the whole. That's what a fraction is. So understanding what a fraction is, now we're going to talk about why we use fractions. And to do that, we have to explain a little bit about the math of fractions. As a math expression, a fraction means division. So in this example that we've used before, one half, it means one divided by two. And if you think about it for a little bit, why didn't we just write it as a division symbol, you know, using that symbol? The division symbol is actually a fraction. It's a dot over a dot. Mind blown. So let's look at some examples of actually doing some math using a fraction. If I had 8 over 2, or the numerator of 8 and the denominator of 2, that means 8 divided by 2, which is equal to 4. That's what it is. So I want you to practice one. I have this one 14 over 7. I want you to try that as without writing that division sentence in the middle. Just go ahead and divide. 14 over 7. It means 14 divided by 7, which gives us 2. Notice I did not write the division sentence in there. And that's a good thing for us to get into the habit of doing. That way we recognize a fraction means division. Now, we know fractions mean division. We also know fractions mean a part out of a whole. But there's one other thing that we do need to know, and that's why do we use them? Why don't we just use that symbol? And the reason we use them, one of the reasons that we use them, is that it actually simplifies what we're doing inside of a math expression. So here's an example, 14 times 3 over 1 plus 6. If we write this as a fraction, then we recognize we would simplify the top, simplify the bottom, and then divide at the end. Fine. 
the way we'd have to write that as an expression would look like this. 14 times 3 divide the quantity of 14 times 3 divided by the quantity of 1 plus 6. Now, we could simplify this a little bit and get rid of um, some of those parentheses, maybe the outside block. No, nope. we would have to. Anyway, it, it just makes it a little bit more complicated. And then we have to debate, like, do we actually need this set of parentheses or this set of parentheses? And sometimes people get really confused with parentheses. And then moving forward one more step, when we start introducing variables or letters into a mathematical expressions, it, you really need a fraction because the need for it becomes magnified. And the, the possibilities of what you can do with, with them um, kind of increases. So I want you to take a look at this. And this is a pretty big math expression. And I want you to tell me which one looks more simplified. I have this one where you would look at the numerator, 7 times 4 plus 2, simplify that. And then you have your denominator, 12 minus 3 times 2, and you would simplify that, and then you would divide. To write this out as just a, a statement, all written out in one line, it would look like this. Or it could be simplified a little bit down to being that because multiplication does get done before addition or subtraction. So if you know your order of operations, you could write it like this to make it a little bit more simplified. But again, to me, writing it as a fraction makes it a little bit more obvious what exactly you need to do in each step. Looking ahead, one other thing that I want to mention with fractions, and I need to emphasize that this overview is, it might seem a little bit complicated, and I want to try and keep it as simple as possible. So I'm not going to get into this very much, but I do want to mention that fractions are used in another way. Moving forward, you'll also use fractions as a way to compare numbers. And, and that may seem complicated, but it's it's not bad if you understand fractions and you work to to understand what they mean and how they work. And this comparison is often called a ratio. So if you've worked with ratios before, then again, this might be something you've seen. But just trust me that understanding fractions now and working with them and becoming comfortable with them will help you a lot moving forward. And we've talked about that in a couple of different ways. So again, that's just another reason that we use fractions or another way that we use them is with something called ratios. So we talked about a fraction being a part of a whole. We also said that fractions mean division. And then we use fractions to simplify expressions, to simplify equations, to make things look a little bit easier. So hopefully that lesson has helped you to understand fractions a little bit more. And I hope it was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.